unburied former NBA president over comment on judiciary. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Dr. Aki Oningbidi, a senior advocate of Nigeria, has chastised Dr. Olisa Agbakoba San, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, for his recent comment that highly condemned the Nigerian judiciary. Agbakoba remarked that he had lost faith in the nation's court and urged the Supreme Court verdict to be, be exposed to legislative scrutiny. In a statement made available to journalists in Ibadan, Onigbidi, as former Speaker of the Oyo State House of Assembly, OYHA said Agbakoba's outright condemnation of the judiciary was unworthy of a person of his status because his viewpoint is a serious indictment of an institution that is respected and held in awe anywhere in the world. Although the judiciary faces issues, Agbakoba's remark that the court now makes silly decisions was unexpected from someone who was once the president of the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, according to Onigbinde. Dr. Bakoba's approach and publication smacks of real class, even considered an empty activism that cannot possibly improve the judiciary as an institution. The whole, what was, was the end game and long term objective of Dr. Bakoba's video address? Did they expect the disbandment of the judiciary the morning after, or did he intend to pull the consensus of the justice on a hook, or just to bring the institution to complete disrepute? He inquired. Well, this is what I'm going to say. Um, uh, Unfortunately, you when it, anything with that lawyer talk, now within the judiciary, the judiciary don't turn to permit me to use the word. You don't be like a woman will be say the highest be there in the follow. You don't see where girls they do night nice work. Na person will pay the night they go pay them where if they call hundred. Eh, let's say for instance. They call hundred dollar. Uh, you call hundred dollar. Somebody comes, say they will give give them five hundred dollar. Then go follow that person. This thing I'm telling you is real. That is how bad it is. They are now giving judgment, you know, based on the highest bidder, and it is very dangerous to our nation. And it is very very dangerous. Do you know what it means? That means it is only the rich that is going to be getting, as in, they are going to be getting, um judgment it is the ju judgment is going to be favoring meaning say somebody who is like a widow will be selling the tie snatch in land fee run to the law say sinner see my children they're still small they still they under 10 i beg then they under 15 then even they under 14 i beg now the law they won't collect property where go you take care of these children Eh? I beg, they won't do everything. So if the, if a widow runs to the law like that, and then her in-laws who happen to have small change at hand will come in and turn that particular, uh, what's it called, and will come in by the by the law and turn it against that widow. That is, do you know? Do, do you know? Do you know how reckless that can be? If the judiciary you know like if you know like as the days follow you talk, you could change your attitude. You just be like person they tell you as they behave, you say you no know, like him. You go go back. If now what you really did do? If you won't really make change for the better, you ask around, this is what they determine are true. If you could tell you, then you work on yourself. Abby, come in out and say eh, what they didn't want, what they didn't want. He don't come as I come con. He no good, waiting no good, no good. Yes, naturally, say, hey, go come as I can say, ah, I said, don't talk, I finish now. Waiting happen. Say, then give you money or they dash. This is not a matter of waiting, no good. You know, good. I repeat, the judiciary is now like a woman will be saying they, that they use money, they place for her head. I know, see the difference. I know, see. And it is very dangerous. Many say now, if you get money for this, do you know what it means? That means somebody can come and oppress you. And because the person has the money to buy the law, they go and buy it, buy the judgment against you. To me, it makes absolutely no sense. So if the law or the judiciary fees say, eh, they, eh, eh, then, they, then, they, then they insult them, when they change their ways, you know how, you know how.
It is quite unfortunate that people will be afraid to say the truth in this country anymore. All statements are interpreted to have tribal, religious, or geographical inclination. It is very bad for the country. For me, anyone that hails judiciary for saying that INEC have discretion to use and not use technology acquired to ensure credible election is an enemy of Nigeria project. If judiciary, I don't talk my own. If they no do with me, I go to they no do with like us. I don't like them to personally be say a uh, very nice worker. Yes, if they not be nice worker, we see them be. What are they? Yeah, that is what they are doing. That is exactly what they are doing. And me, it is very dangerous. For now, it is looking like because now inside their pockets, now that money they enter. That person where they do the work, they think say she the game. But later, later, body go tell her. That's just the truth. Tunibu and Yakuba have caused problems between Nigeria's lawyers. This is why 90% of a tribe cannot keep a home. Always my kids with my with his mother or mother in law. Lack of choice to bring it to a national issue. No one wants to stand on the truth. Please don't come outside and bring any tribal sentiment here. I don't bring tribal sentiment here at all. Ha. Okay. Only in Nigeria, people forbid themselves to tell themselves common truth that is needed for the progress and prosperity of a country. Instead, they will swore to lies for their selfish ambition. Tribal or religious beliefs interested. That is what is killing Nigeria as a country for, for, for from 1960 up to now. My dear, you can say that again. They were all dressed in tribal gowns. He cares less whether the profession is thrown to the gutter because his brother did not win the presidential election. That's not true. That is not true. That is not true. Nigeria can never be one be one, look at the level of people and institution that was supposed to be respected and that they weren't messing up the system. Even if you are here, look at the utterances, reanalyze your comment. Now you understand that you are nothing but a shameless cheap analysis. For no reason, the son who is your brother supported the verdict simply because he's a Yoruba man. Okay, everyone in the entire country, even West Africa, A, you condemn the outcome of election. A son from a region came out and you're upset with him. The man died in him, who in the face of injustice keeps silent. You don't expect Abakaba to keep quiet when things are going wrong simply because he was a former NBA chairman. The man in him is still alive. Well, not to us. <laughs> we will keep to have, keep having thick skin. Maybe all of us will feel like uh, Jack Buff will come over this country. We we'll keep having thick skin eh, to weather any storm coming from any part of the country as Nigerians. And of course, we keep pushing hard, hoping that one day Nigeria will be free. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the.